One way to get consistent character portraits is to use a split camera method. Let's use a prompt. A woman, tan skin and dark hair. Brown eyes, natural lighting, Kodak Portra 160. Split into multiple images, shot from multiple angles. The key part of the prompt being split into multiple images and shot from different angles. This gives us a base character portrait collage to work with of a couple of different images showing the same person from different perspectives. In the rest of the video, I'll cover getting more viewpoints, customizing environments, changing clothing, and more. So with our prompt asking for multiple images, we get a split image showing the same consistent character from different angles in an image collage. To get more viewpoints, we can take advantage of the pan feature in mid-journey. Click on the pan arrows beneath the image to extend it. I'll pan to the left to get more shots of the same character. The new generated images will use the original character portrait collage as a reference. This is my preferred method of getting more viewpoints. Alternatively, you can use a custom zoom function to achieve the same effect. Click on custom zoom. I'll leave the zoom factor at 2. And we get an outpainted version of the original image collage with more views. I prefer using the pan feature because it preserves the resolution of the original image. And it also tends to just generate higher quality results than using custom zoom. Getting our character in different environments is simple. First, turn on remix mode in the settings menu. We'll keep using the pan inpinning feature for this. Select one of the pan arrows and a prompt appears for us to customize since we have remix mode turned on. In the prompt, I'll add a location of in a forest after a woman. Generate the image and our character has been moved to a different environment, outdoors in a forest, and the facial features are preserved. It might take a couple rerolls to get results you're satisfied with. Using the same exact method, you can put the character in many different places like the beach, a city, or a cold winter environment. For different clothing items, we'll use the same exact pan method. Select the pan arrow and in the pop-up prompt, ask for different articles of clothing. I'll go with the denim jacket this time. I like the way that the brown one turned out. We can get many other types of attire like a bucket hat, luxury clothes, a red dress, or a leather jacket. We can also mix and match different articles of clothing and environments, like asking for a sundress in the field outdoors. These images all preserve the identity of our original character and allows us a lot of customization options. Different actions can also be generated using the pan feature. Let's edit the prompt and ask for our character reading a book, holding a pizza, playing guitar, or playing chess. Here we do expose some of the limitations of mid-journey. It is inconsistent when generating different types of actions, especially with the hands. Alternative to the pan feature, to get custom environments and clothing, we can also use the Vary Region in Painting tool. Select Vary Region, and in the pop-up interface, click and drag to select a section to paint. Make sure to leave a few reference images to maintain the original woman's facial features. In the prompt, we can ask for a different environment, like in a forest, or go to the beach, a city, and try a new outfit. I prefer using the pan feature for customizing environments and changing clothing because you get more images, but the painting tool will also work. Let's see if our method also works on different subjects. We'll go with a man this time. We can put him near a waterfall, go to a jungle, or visit London. Let's give him a new leather jacket. I think he looks like he might be a chess player. You may wish to extend the borders of some images since they're pretty narrow. For example, here I've cropped out a part of my image collage, and I want to extend the environment on the edges using now painting. We can use clip drop for this purpose. It's free to use, although you can pay for some extra benefits. Check the description for links. First, create a free account. I'll sign in with Google, then head to the Uncrop tool. Next, just drag your image onto the tool and adjust the borders. I'll shrink them a little bit since I don't want to extend my image by that much. Select Next to extend. Since we're using a free version, there will be a queue. However, this usually goes by pretty fast. I've seen long queues up to 400 people, but the wait time goes by quickly, in a minute or so. Once it's finished, our image gets AI extended borders, similar to Photoshop's generative fill. Clip Drop uses stable diffusion for this. I need to give credit to the post that inspired this video via Chase Ling on Twitter. So go check out his page. Now at this point, you may be wondering what to do about the resolution of the generated images since Mid Journey is limited in the resolution it can generate. Go ahead and check out my video on upscaling Mid Journey images and make sure to subscribe to stay updated on the latest Mid Journey news and updates.